computer hackers on the one hand are quite easy to identify. They have a love of computing. They tend to have a strong commitment to information freedom and privacy. On the other hand, when you really get uh, empirical with hackers, really uh, look at them, uh, spend time with them, look at what they do, you start to see some differences among hackers. And I tend to call these differences genres of hacking. It's kind of a, uh, a word with a lot of jargon, but I haven't come up with a, another good one. Maybe dialects is a good one, whereby I'm interested in the differences among hackers as much as the similarities. So anonymous is hard to describe. It's an internet phenomena based of an aggregate, large aggregate of people who come together to rally around a cause. In the past, one of the most famous actions of Anonymous was against the Church of Scientology. Recently, they organized to protest or to denial of service attack, PayPal, MasterCard, um, because they were uh, pulled their services for, for WikiLeaks. The denial of service attacks are actually pretty well coordinated among a kind of trusted group, but then when it comes to uh, other campaigns or videos or manifestos, that's very self, in, um, there's a lot of self initiative. So whoever wants to kind of create a video in the name of Anonymous can do so. I can, I can do it when I go home as well. Um, and what's interesting is that people come together and collaborate. So along with uh, coordinating denial of service attacks on the internet relay chat, people got together on PiratePad which is a piece of software where you could write collaboratively to produce a manifesto, to uh, lay out future plans. And that was something I had not actually seen before with a previous kind of incarnation of Anonymous. And what's fascinating about them is that on the one hand, there's forms of stability and coherence. On the other hand, they really can change depending on a new media event or depending on where they themselves want to take themselves in the future. So they're, they're stable, but very unstable at the same time. And so you can find them on internet relay chat channels, which is where I spend a lot of my time researching them. And the hard thing is that they're on multiple channels and multiple servers as well. Staring at the computer a lot. Uh, it is keeping logs. It's quickly grabbing what is striking. Um, it's definitely the case that some people anonymous know me, so they tell me, go here, go there. I, I tend not to, at this early stage, ask a lot of questions. I want to see what's going on natively. I kind of, what, what are they doing? Can I understand what it is? I might have to ask a few questions to orient myself, but generally I'm interested not in an individual's portrayal of anonymous, but what I see sociologically happening.